Van Mukwak to Jim which was built in the late 11th century in the south of Thanglong capital, is a unique architectural complex. Van Mukwak to Jim not only is the place of worship, but also used to be a big educational center of Vietnamese feudal courts. For over 700 years of existence, Quoc Tu Jim, Imperial Academy, trained thousands of talents for Vietnam. It is the first university in the country. At present, Van Mu Quoc Tu Jim is one of the most typical historical and cultural relics of Hanoi and the whole country. In 1010, King Lai Tai to remove the capital from Hoa Lu to Dai Lai establishing the famous Thang Long capital. The biggest goal then was to protect and reinforce the national independence. So an ideological basis, an effective social structure, and a string educational system for training talents for the country, were needed. On the basis of the thought Tam Jiao Dong Tun, the Lai dynasty selected the three pillars to build the country. Namely Confucian society, Buddhist spiritual life and way of nature. Dai Viet Su Kentucky Tone Thu complete annals of Dai Viet records. In the autumn of the year Kin Tuat, the second year of the Vu, 1070, and the eighth lunar month, during the reign of King Lai Than Tang, Van Mu. Temple of Literature, was built. The statues of Confucius, his four best disciples, Yan Yui, Zengzi, Zisi, and Menzis, as well as the Duke of Zhu, were carved. They are worshipped all year round. The Crown Prince studied here. So, Van Mu, apart from serving as a place of worship, was also a royal school and the first student was the Crown Prince Lai Kanduk the son of King Lathan Tung and Guiyan Phi Wailan, who was then five years old. In 1072, Lai Kanduk ascended the throne and became King Lin Hun Tung. In 1076, King Lin Hun Tung had Kuak Tujum built next to Van Mu. Students of the university were children of royal members and literature mandarins. In the Tran Dynasty, the third year of Gu Yanfong, 1253, King Grand Tai Tung turned Kwak to Jamenta Kwak Hak Vien. The school also taught children of civilians who got excellent results in their studies. The school was known as a school rather than a place of worship. It can be said that, after the capital was removed to Thang Long, the construction of Van Mu Quoc Tu Jim was considered the second major cultural and historical event in the 11th century. This shows the policy of building and reinforcing a centralized state, using intellectual mandarins and Confucianism as the official ideology for governing the country. The architecture of Van Mu is typical of that of the Guyan dynasty. It is surrounded by four walls which were built of grey wooden hammer bricks, a product of the post La dynasty. For many centuries, Van Mu was the holy land of Confucianism. The gate of Van Mu bears many original features of Vietnamese ancient architecture. The first space is called Nhep Dao with three roads. The main middle road is called Hong Dao. Earlier, it was reserved for kings, royal members and high-ranked mandarins. And the remaining roads are called Lin Dao for students and civilians. The road leads into Dai Trung Mo. The vase on its top shows old people's desire to catch the most quintessential things of the universe. And the two carp with their heads down symbolize students' desire to pass examinations. 
Ditramon is flanked by Thanduk and Detai. The value of the target of training talented and moral people remains unchanged. Kuvankek is small and has a simple architectural style. It is surrounded by green ancient trees and located next to Thien Kuang Well. Thien Kuang Well is also known as Van Trai. When naming the well Thien Kuang perhaps old people wanted to receive the quintessence of the universe and acquire knowledge. In addition, the well is square, which symbolizes the ground. And the windows on Kuvanka are round, which symbolizes the sky. All quintessential things of the sky and the ground converge on Van Mukwak to Jamin Thangalong. Thus, Kuvankek has become the symbol of Hanoi capital. Kuvankek is flanked by two small gates. By Van Gate is on the left, referring to a refined and convincing style of writing. Suk Van Gate on the right side refers to concise and enriched literature. Thien Kuang Well is flanked by 82 doctorates tillas, which are divided into two rows. Each row consists of 41 stellas. All stellas face the well. They are considered relics which have the highest value in Van Mukwak to Jim. As in Dai Fan Gate, we reach the main area of Van Mukwak to Jim. On the top of the gate, there is a horizontal lacquered board with three words Dai Fan Man on it. Two lines of smaller characters Lai Fan Tang, then Vun He Nine, Kin Tuat Thu, Bat Guyet Fung Keen are inscribed on the two sides of the board, like what are recorded in historical documents. In autumn, the year of Kin Tuat, the second year of the Vu, 1070, and the eighth lunar month, during the reign of King Lai Fan Tang, the Mu, Temple of Literature, was built. Dai Fan Gate, Gate of Great Achievement, leads into the area of main architectural works where Confucius, his four best disciples and Chu Kong are worshipped. And the final destination is Kuak Tu Jin, the university where many talents for Vietnamese feudal courts, such as Guyan Truck, Gusai Lin, Guyan Tre, Mac Dan Chi, Luang Thi Binh, Go Thien Hum and so on were trained. The Tai Ha Courtyard was built on the foundation of the old Kuak Tu Jin. This place is with Chu Van An, the first Confucian scholar of Vietnam to be worshipped in Van Mu, is worshipped. Chu Van An was not only the teacher of the crown prince, but also a typical educator who made a great contribution to the educational cause of the nation. He is worshipped in many places across the country. The establishment of Van Mu in 1070 and Kuak Tu Jim in 1076 was not only a step forward in terms of culture and education, but also had great historical values. In the context when the country just gained independence, after being dominated for more than 1000 years, all political, economic, Military and cultural activities were aimed at showing national sovereignty. In 938, Den Bolin became the king of the country. In 1010, Lai Kong Yuan moved the capital to Thang Long. In 1076, before the foreign invaders, Lai Thu Ankit read the poem Nam Kwak Son Hectares on the Hu Guyet River. The establishment of Van Mukwak Tu Jim was to train mandarins to control the country and train talents for the country.
Thus tell which was compiled by Dong Kak Hoxi then Hong Trung in 1442. Is considered the declaration of the country's education. Excellent talents with good virtue are the sap of the country. If the sap is strong, the country will be strong and progress. If the sap is weak, the country will be weakened and degraded. For that reason, there is no clear-sighted king who is not concerned about building and developing talents. The 82 stelas are extremely valuable objects, which help us get a better insight into the history of Vietnam's education. In a period of time of more than 300 years, through the stele, we can understand Vietnamese feudal courts policies of encouraging students to study, training talents and commending students who got higher results in examinations. The first stele to be erected in 1442 says, The stele is inscribed with the names of another information about those who had got higher results in the examinations for others to follow. The stel which was erected in 1739 says, The stel is inscribed with the names of another information about those who had got higher results in the examination so that their fame lasts forever. Apart from commending excellent students, the erection of the stilas was also aimed at encouraging people to do right things and preventing evil things from happening. For instance, the stele which was erected in 1478 reads, If any mandarins do not care about national affairs and seek benefits for themselves, they will have their names criticized and disapproved of. The erection of the stilas is an evidence for the old king's desire to honor and take care of talents. For over 1,000 years under the Chinese domination, it was talents and people who could help the country grow strong. Each stel in Van Mu is also an original sculptural and calligraphic work. All stilas were complied by great Confucian scholars. Van Mu Quoc Tu Jin has become a popular cultural destination for young Vietnamese people. Van Mu Quoc Tu Jin is a particularly important relic of the country. It preserves and honors Vietnamese people's tradition of learning. With its historical and cultural values, Van Mu Quoc Tu Jin contains the values of the true, the good, the beautiful, and is the symbol of Vietnamese people's intellect. Those values will last forever, because they contain the most quintessential things of Vietnamese culture. <laughs>